today let us learn about some basic fundamentals of statistics let us initially understand what is a statistics is statistics is a branch of mathematics which deals with collection of data organization of data analysis of data interpretation of data and representation of the data this data can be collected by conducting a series of experiments or a set of observations the collected data can be expressed in the form of a law called as empirical law this relationship between the data that is whenever we have two variables we usually come across two variables basically we come across two variables and we try to find out a relationship between that exists between these two variables which is called as an empirical law to find this kind of relationship between the paired set of paired observations we usually call it as x and y the variables as x and y we plot it in the graph corresponding to one variable on x axis another variable in on y axis suppose for example we have a set of values say x values and the values of y we have 1 Two, four, six, three, seven, five, ten. These are the set of values that are available. We try to plot it in the graph. X along x-axis, x values along x-axis, y values along y-axis. So these points are located in this plane. I'll mark these coordinates. these are the values of x that we have correspondingly i'll take some values for y allocate these point 1 comma 2 this is the point 1 comma 2 then 4 comma 3 4 4 comma 6 we have 4 comma 6 is this point 3 comma 7 3 comma 7 is somewhere it comes at this point then 5 comma 10 5 comma 10 is this just look at this i have located these points in a graph this is along x axis and y axis this graph is called as a scatter diagram what exactly we have done is we have a set of values that are available each one of corresponding to each one of these values of and the values of y i've just located the points on x and the y axis and these points are represented in the form of a graph which is called as a scatter diagram what do we do with this is we try to find out a relationship that exists between x and y and that is called as an empirical law i need to find out a law to find that law what we do is i need to join these points by means of a smooth curve that can be either through a straight line that is a linear curve it can be a quadratic curve it can be an exponential curve or it can also be a geometric curve let us see how exactly we do that that process of joining these points with the means of curve is called as a curve fitting what exactly is curve fitting is is curve fitting is a process of designing a curve or constructing a curve which is also called as we are trying to find out a mathematical function which is also called as a mathematical model that has the best fit for the set of values that we have here and the common types of curve that we can fit for this data look into this i can go by joining these points by a straight line it not not necessary that i need to cover all the points maximum number of points if you can able to cover you cover it or in the form of a parabola which is nothing but a quadratic curve let us see how exactly we join these points by means of a curve suppose if we wish to fit a straight line corresponding to this look into this all these points are not in the form of a straight line some points are below suppose in case if i try to join these two points some points are above and some points will be below it so maximum thing that i can do here is i can just go by joining these two points and this uh, this point is above this and this point is also above this line 
So let us try to fit a strike line with this data. How exactly we do is, the general form of a strike line is y is equal to a plus bx. y is equal to a plus bx. This is the standard form of a strike line which is also called as a linear curve. What are a and b? a and b are the parameters to be determined. Once we find out the values of a and b, what is the advantage of fitting this curve is we can estimate, suppose in case we have these values 1, 3, 4 and 5 values are the values of x. In case if I want to find out what is the value of y at x is equal to say 8, that can be estimated by fitting a relationship between this x and y. How exactly we do by plotting or fitting a curve? So we take a general form of the strike line y is equal to a plus bx. In this, a and x and y are the variables, a and b are the parameters to be determined. These parameters can be determined by using several methods. So there are four such methods that are available. One is the graphical method. First method is the graphical method to find out these parameters. And the second one is method of least squares and the third one is method of group averages and the last one is method of movements. So these are the, basically we have four different methods to find out these parameters A and B. The first one as I said it is a graphical method. We literally write the scatter diagram, try to strike, uh, write a strike line. In that we try to find out the values of A and B. I will explain how exactly we find out the values of A and B by using graphical method. Another method is the method of least squares and the other two methods are method of group averages and method of movements. Among these four methods, the best fitted method or the best method to fit a curve is nothing but method of least squares. So what is the advantage of this over this graphical method is, suppose in case if I go by taking the same example, how exactly we find out the values of A and B. Let me take an example so that we can compare that with the least square method. I will take an example to find out the values of a and B. Just suppose in case we have, suppose if P is the pull that is required to lift the load W, I will write the data here. If P is the pull that is required to lift this. lift a load W by means of pulley blocks. Let's see if P is the pull. Find a relation of the form P is equal to A plus BW from the following data. So let me give you the data. P is in terms of kg weight. W is also in terms of kg weight. So 12, 15, 21, 25, and correspondingly we have 50, 70, 100, 120. 
estimate the value of p when w is equal to 150 kgs. This is the problem that we have. What do we do with this is, let me first solve this by using graphical method. So what is graphical method is, first you just write the scatter diagram. In case of graphical method, I draw x-axis and the y-axis. Look, just look into the data that we have. Accordingly, you fix the dimensions of the scale. Let me, this is along x-axis and y-axis. I'll take 50. Maximum is 120. So, let me take 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 and 120 here. So this represents W, P along Y direction, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Let me locate these points. When W is equal to 50, X is P is 12. So, X is 50, 12 is somewhere here. Then 15, 17, 15, 70 is here. And 15, somewhere here, 20. 121 and 120, 25. Just carefully observe this. When you look into these points, they are almost in the form of a straight line. Not exactly the straight line, they are almost in the form of a straight line. So the best fitted curve that we can do with this is we can fit a straight line rather than going for any quadratic curve or an exponential curve. Let us first solve this by using graphical method. What I do is I will try to join these points by the means of a straight line which covers maximum of two points. So it is not necessary that we need to cover all the points. Minimum two points you should cover. Let me write these points, coordinates of this point. This is 50 comma 12. This point represents 50 comma 12. And this point represents 17, 70, 15. Now, how exactly we find out the values of A and B is, look into this. We have the curve that is given to you. The relationship that we need to find out is P is equal to A plus BW. To estimate the value of P when W is equal to 150 kgs, I need the values of the parameters A and B. To find out these parameters, there are four different methods as I have said. One such method is a graphical method. I am trying to solve it by using graphical method. What do I do with this is, when you have this straight line, you just try to form a right angle triangle with this. How do I obtain this right angle triangle? Try to have a right angle triangle here. This angle is 90 degrees. Let me take this as M, N, and this is L. L, M, N as this point. Now, I will try to find out the slope. Whenever you have a straight line, y is the form, standard form of a straight line, y is equal to a plus bx. What does b? b represents the slope. So find out the slope of this straight line. How do I find out the slope of this straight line? The slope is given by, I'll try to find out the slope. Slope b is equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So what does this y2 minus y1 15 minus 12 divided by 70, x2 minus x1, 70 minus 50, which gives us 3 divided by 20. So, 3 divided by 20 is approximately 0.15. So, the value of B that I am getting here by using graphical method is B is equal to 0.15. 
Now similarly, I need to find out the value of A also. To find the value of A, you know that this straight line is definitely passing through the point 50 comma 12. So this straight line, this straight line is passing through passing through the point 50 comma 12. So that means it should satisfy the equation of this straight line. What is y? y is equal to 12. 12 is equal to or else you need not be 50 comma 12. You can even go by taking 70 comma 15. So it is either you can go by taking 70 comma 15 or this 50 comma 12. Let me go with the why to take the first point? Let me go with the second point only. Don't have a confusion there that it is always you need to go by choosing the first point. It's not necessary. Let me go with any other point. Since you have two points, so you go by taking any one of the point which is passing through this right line. So what I do is, it should definitely satisfy this equation. The value of y is 15. 15 is equal to a plus b into x. x is 70. We have already found the value of B substituted. 15 is equal to A plus 0.15 into 70. This 70 into 0.15 gives us A plus. This is 10.5. So therefore, A is equal to, we get the value as 4.5. This is the value of A and this is the value of B. This is how exactly we find out the values of these parameters A and B by using graphical method. Substitute these values of A and B in this equation 1. Substituting in 1, we get the curve of best fit by using graphical method. Therefore, P is equal to A is 4.5 plus B is 0.15 into W. So this is the curve or we are finding out a relation that exists between P and W by using this data. This method is the graphical method. The same problem let us try to solve it by using method of least squares. So how exactly we do the uh, solve the same problem using method of least squares and let us check whether do we get the same values of the parameters A and B or some other value, let us check. So for that, when you need to go by, by using the method of least squares, to find out the values of A and B, it is not necessary for us to draw the graph unlike the graphical method. We need to go by writing the normal equations. Normal equations can be obtained by using the method of least squares. What exactly that method of least squares says is, the sum of the squares of the observed value with the estimated value must be as minimum as possible. By using that, we derive an expression to find out the values of A and B. To find A and B, we use normal equations. Use <coughs> normal equations. So what are those normal equations? How exactly we write those normal equations? I'll just take the summation throughout this. Sigma P is equal to summation of A is nothing but N into A plus B into summation of W. This is the first equation. Since we need to find out the two values of the unknowns, we need to have minimum of two equations. The other equation can be obtained by multiplying this whole equation by W. W into P is equal to a into summation of W plus B into summation of W square. So these two together are called as normal equations. Next thing is I need to know the value of sigma P, summation of P, summation of W, summation of W square, summation of W into P. How exactly we find out that is with the help of this. We prepare a table consisting of these elements. Let me write P, W, W square and W into P. Write these values. So at P is equal to 12, W is 50, P is equal to 15, W is 70, 21, 100, 25, 120. Correspondingly, you find out W square and W into P. 
All those values have already calculated. I'll just write it. This gives us 2,500. This is 4,900. 4,900 or 4,900. This is 10,000. This is 14,400. And W into P gives me 600. 1050, 2100, and 3000. Find out the sum of all these values. So, this is the table. I have taken less number of values so that calculation becomes easier. Don't think that we will be having only four values. Just to make you people to understand, I have taken only the four values. Take the summation of all this. This is summation. Summation of all these is nothing but 73. Summation of these values is 340. And this is 31,800. And this is 6,750. Now, after finding out these values, let us substitute these values in the normal equation. That is in equation 2. What we get is summation of P. This is nothing but summation of P, which is 73. That is equal to n. What is n? n gives us the number of values that are given to you. 1, 2, 3, 4. n is nothing but 4. So, 4a plus b into summation of w. Summation of w is 340. b into 340. Next comes w into p. w into p is 6750. That is equal to 340a. Summation of w is 340. 340a plus w square is 31800b. So, solve these are two simultaneous equations in A and B. It is very easy to find solve these two simultaneous equations. So, solving these equations, solving these equations, you can either go by using a calculator or by using the manual method of so, solving these two simultaneous equations, we get the value of A as equal to 0 0.17, 0 0.1879 and the value of B as equal to 2.2785. Just observe these two values with the values that we have obtained by using graphical method. Using graphical method, we have got the value of A as 0.15 and value of B as 4.5. Just look into these two values and compare with these values. You see that there is a much difference. A might be approximately same, but you can see much difference in the values of B. And hence, we conclude that this method of least square is the best method to fit any curve to find out the parameters. Now what we do is after finding out the values of A and B, we substitute it in equation 1. Substituting in 1, we get P is equal to A is 0.1879 plus 2.2785 into B, that is W. So this is the relationship that exists between P and W for the given data. We have fitted a linear relationship or a straight line. This represents a straight line wherein 2.2785 is the slope. And how do we estimate? What is the advantage? That's what I told you in the very beginning. The advantage of fitting this curve is whatever the value we want to estimate for a given value of W, we can easily do it. So what is the amount of pull that is required if there is a weight of 120, 150 kgs is when W is equal to 150 kgs, we get P, substitute the value of W in place of W, put 150 kgs, we get P as equal to 30 point approximately 30.46 kgs. So similarly, even for any amount of, any value of W, you can find out the value of P. So this is the advantage of fitting a curve by using any of the methods that is we have discussed about graphical method as well as the method of least squares.
Similarly, you can also go with fitting a quadratic curve, exponential curve or a geometric curve.